So one of the hardest parts about creating YouTube content is generating those video ideas and wondering whether they're gonna help grow your channel or just be a waste of your precious time. Now I'm gonna show you a strategy that helps you find hundreds of ideas that are proven to work on YouTube. These are video ideas that have blown up over YouTube channels and they could do exactly the same for you. But first, we need to talk about outliers. Now I want you to imagine that you own a small restaurant. Now each night you normally get around 50 customers that come in to order their favourite burger and chips. One night a huge well-known food influencer walks into your restaurant, picks up one of your burgers, takes a bite and posts it all over their social media saying how it was the juiciest, greatest burger that they've ever tasted. The next night you open the doors, look outside, and there's a queue forming all the way down the street. 500 people have turned up on the basis of what this one influencer said, and they all want to sample your food. That night, right there, with 500 people, that is an outlier. It outperforms every other night. So every other night is the normal, the average, yet every now and then something unexpected happens, and it makes your restaurant the hottest spot in town. Now imagine that your YouTube videos are those restaurant nights, most nights are gonna be the same. Most videos are gonna be the same. They're gonna get the usual number of viewers, but every now and then, one of them is gonna blow up your channel. Now, maybe the algorithm pushed it. Maybe that topic was trending. Maybe you just did an absolutely fantastic job of the thumbnail, the title, and everything else. Something made that video explode and become a complete outlier to the rest of your videos. So now you know what an outlier is and you understand the concept, we need to figure out how to find these outliers. How do you generate these ideas that have proven to work for other channels in other niches and the same niche as you and also could work for you? Now, fortunately for us, there are at least three tools that I know of that are gonna help you find these outliers in a quick, easy and automated way. So let's dive in, take a look at all three and figure out which one's best for you. So perhaps the OG of Outliers is an application called One of Ten, named after the one of ten that you always aim for when you publish a YouTube video. Now with this, you've got a website that you log into and it's got its own GUI and interface, which we can take a look at here. And as you can see, you get these numbers. This is the outlier number. So that outlier score indicates the multiplier of what that channel's average is and in comparison to that one video. So a 10 times multiplier means that video is 10 times better than normal. We've got various different filters and displays. You can change the number of thumbnails. You can look at videos. You can look at shorts. You've got the uh, numbers. The outlier numbers are actually color coded. At the top here, we can type in a keyword and it'll look for that keyword within the videos on YouTube and also the channels. So I've just put vacuum in. Now, that's just gonna give me loads of things to do with vacuums, but we can click on thumbnail search and it'll look at thumbnails that have got vacuum in. And you can click on Niche Explorer and it'll try and find your channels that are related to vacuums. So I'm just going to go back to Outliers. And on the side, you've got this Filters button. Now, this is pretty important because if you want to find outliers and popular proven videos that are recent, you're going to want to change the publication date. You might also want to change the number of subscribers so that it's something smaller and more relevant to your channel. So you can fine tune things. Now, I like this thumbnail. So this is a six times multiplier. If we click on topics, it's actually going to go and find a load more topics as well, a lot more thumbnails. So this is pretty handy, pretty useful. So you can take a massive overview and look at all the different topics that are using very similar kind of comparison thumbnails. And you can see what works. If this is working for lots of different videos, then maybe it's worth pursuing. You can track that particular channel. Um, you've got various different options. This one's a little bit of a kind of new thing, this idea generator where it'll take that thumbnail and apply it to your specific channel. Not really relevant for mine, but I like the example that it gave. One of 10 also has a Chrome extension. So we've just jumped over to YouTube and done a search for macro lens. Now it doesn't give you the scores on the search results, which I'm sure it used to, but if we just scroll down and find a channel, there's my friend, Brian Johnson, who's got a photography channel as well. So we're just gonna look at Brian's videos. Now, if you go to someone's channel, um, then you'll see, and it might take a moment to load, there you can see the outlier numbers there, and you can actually filter them at the top just so it only shows you ones over a certain value. But you can see this one here, this best wildlife photography one's a 6.2 multiplier. So you can take a look at someone else's channel and you can see what is working for them. What should you try and use for inspiration? 
Next up is Spotter Studio, and a Spotter Studio does various different things for planning. Uh, YouTube ideation. Outliers is just one small part of it. If you want to see a full review of Spotter, then take a look at my other videos. I'll link everything in the description. Once again, you can choose the outlier number, you can choose the subscriber count, you can make it more relevant to yourself. It's got a really good feature in Spotter Studio as well, which I haven't seen in any of the others. If you actually want to look for outliers that are relevant to your channel, you can actually filter it by what your audience also watched. So that's really helpful. I'm just going to do a search for push-ups and you can see there it goes away, looks at the keyword and it gives you some um, some results. It's showing that this one here is a 13.2 multiplier. So in its first seven days, it was 13 times more popular than it's the usual video on that channel. Now you can add it to favorites, you can follow it, you can do what you want, but you're using it as an inspiration. It's showing you here a thumbnail and a title that works. Now, lastly, we're going to look at vidIQ. Now, if you're a YouTube creator, you've probably heard of vidIQ because they've got uh, tools that do all kinds of things, and Outliers is one of them. Again, it's a very similar concept. You're probably going to get different numbers where they've got different ways of working these things out. So again, we're going to type in a uh, search. I'm going to search for cake, and if we just look at the results that it brings back, you can filter it again so we can have a look at an outlier score of at least six. And we can change the subscribers so that we're looking at channels that are the same size as ours and not massive channels. So it keeps it more relevant. And the publishing date, we want things that are actually working now and in the last three months. So we're just going to apply that filter and then take a look at the results. And as you can see, you've got various different channels here. 10,000 subscribers, but 26,000 views. And that was a 12 times multiplier. So that mini rainbow buttercream cake recipe. It's a bit of a mouthful. That is popular. Now, why is it popular? Go and watch that video. Is it popular because of the title, the way that they've produced it? All the clues are here. You've then got to narrow it down and find out why. And again, vidIQ has got a Chrome extension as well. So we're going to jump into YouTube, do a quick search for golf swing. And again, that's going to give us some multiplier figures. And it's going to show us what's actually popular. So we can see here, this video has had 1.4 million views, yet Ryan has got 13,000 subscribers. So that is a huge outlier. Again, this one, The Art of Simple Golf. Now, you look at that and think 100,000 views, but 300,000 subscribers. So let's just take a look at their channel. And you'll see it's a uh, multiplier. But if you look at their channel, they they usually get, I don't know, what if we've got 7, 24, 12,000, 15,000 views on some of these videos. So even though it's a bigger channel with subscribers, in comparison to its other videos, it is getting more views on that one. So that was a mega quick run through of what an outlier is and also some of the best applications and tools out there that will help you find these proven videos. You pr I'm going to leave all the links in the description and you're probably going to want to watch the video coming up now too.